सो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू राज मल्होत्रा जाइए सो गाइज हेयर वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द सेशन द पी डी एफ फॉर टूडे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड द पी डी एफ फॉर टूडे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड यू कैन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप चलिए मोहम्मद कैफ मोहित डॉक्टर प्रीटी रमोला न्यू अपडेट विक्की गौतम संजुक्ता माही केक प्लेनेट निसार आदिति गुड मॉर्निंग सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वी आर अबाउट टू स्टार्ट द सेशन द पीडीएफ फॉर टुडे सेशन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन अपलोडेड ऑन आर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू कैन डाउनलोड द पीडीएफ ओके so sufficient number of people have already joined us let's start the session let's see what exactly is there for us in today's newspaper before that let's look into this particular quotation and this statement has been made by bruce lee okay he says that knowing is not enough we must apply it willing is not enough we must do it so basically he is putting emphasis on actions rather than words now these words when we are going to apply it suppose take example information okay information so today we are living in information age and whenever we talk about education what do we have in our mind what is education reading books is it education certainly not because by reading books you are just getting information knowing what is the application of that information how to use that information that will be termed as knowledge okay application that way is be termed as knowledge and when you apply it in your life when you are using it practical applicability that is called education then if you are using the information that you have the knowledge that you have in your life then only we will say that you are an educated individual that's the point here other important aspect is this if we want to help someone okay yes there are multiple people who are willing to help others by nature we are good we will help others the point is this the point is this how many of them they move out their comfort zone how many of them they move out their comfort zone that's the point here kitne log apne comfort zone se bahar nikalte hain so take this example if a dog has met with an accident okay now we can understand that dog will be in pain how many people are going to stop their cars and take that dog to the veterinarian or you can say veterinary hospital kitne log aisa karenge this is the point people may be willing to do but that is not enough you have to do it you have to do it that's the most critical part here this is very important we want doers in our bureaucracy we want doers people who can do things people who not just waste their time on talking about things people who are good executioners do execute kare cheezon ko ground pe we need those type of individuals 
and along with that those individual individuals they should have the knowledge as well and they should equally know how to use the knowledge that they have that's the point here so this is what it does mean now i will look into the doubt vicky gautam yadav is saying sir education is not confined to information but it shows how to stand in odd situation absolutely right absolutely right the point is this information that you have in your head till the time you are not applying it till the time you are not using it it's of no use it's of no use as simple as that so you should know how to use the particular knowledge in your life that's the major point here okay ye sari cheeze hain so let's move to the you can say newspaper session now so we'll try to find out okay before that there is one announcement so today at 2 pm you can connect with us we are coming out with one hour demo session okay it will be a one hour session where i will be telling things about the syllabus that is there and how public administration optional can be beneficial for you okay so we will be doing it today and uh, this is how things are at 2 pm you can connect with us so people who are online they can get the link and they can connect with us okay so this is how uh, you can prepare your optional again i am telling you optional is playing is going to play a really very important role in your mains exam okay because the merit finally will depend upon the marks that you are going to score and optional it carries high weightage 500 marks weightage that's a big number okay 250 250 marks there will be two question two papers so in this way we have to carry out our preparation so anyways uh, if you want to connect you can connect with us at 2 pm today okay so th this is how and now we'll move to the editorial uh, major section here let's see what this newspaper is pointing out okay so ranil becomes acting president as gotabaya flees to maldives okay so this is what is taking place right now and this shows the situation that is there in the island nation okay so ye sari cheeze hain and the point is this major casualty is people are not trusting anyone and other thing is that in that scenario there can be two developments okay two developments can be possible one development can be in this way that uh, radical forces okay radical forces or you can say the forces which are you can say uh, habitual of using violence which may cause political instability political disturbance those forces may gain the ground and when those forces may gain ground it is not good for india's national security as well our national security is also somehow inclined with things that are happening in sri lanka so we need to understand this point here okay that's why it is important that we keep on helping them whatever is the requirement for the sri lankan population we need to help them and finally we need to conclude and come out with some political solution to this problem okay but sometimes it has been observed that political solutions might be difficult as this particular mob is a leaderless mob there is no leader kisse baat karoge with whom you are going to talk that's the major question that we have to address here okay but definitely ranil vikrama singhe he has the reputation to be pro india okay so ranil vikrama singhe if he gains the ground if he gains the popularity then definitely it will be a good thing for us okay rajyapaksha family is already out of the business rajyapaksha family they are already out of the business okay and people are fed up with the rajyapaksha family this is how things are and it is expected that it is going to be like this okay because rajyapaksha is were known uh, for having a you can say close relations with uh, chinese china so here it's uh, it's a good thing if ranil vikrama singhe he comes to power okay or he remains in power this is how this is how you know things are going to be okay so that's the debate so we'll move to the next news item next is related to this cannot impose omnim 
बस बैन ऑन डेमोल्यूशन ओके सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग सी इन इंडिया देर इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम एट दैट मेजर प्रॉब्लम इज दिस सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल पॉपुलेशन इज गोइंग टू लिव ऑन टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल लैंड मीन्स द एरिया दैट इंडिया इज हैविंग इज जस्ट इज जस्ट टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट एंड साइज ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज सेवनटीन पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ओके सो इन इंडिया देर इज ऑलवेज बी यू कैन से अ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैंड एंड पीपल दे विल फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम शॉर्टेज ऑफ लैंड विल बी देयर ओके शॉर्टेज ऑफ लैंड हमारे यहाँ पे रहने ही वाली है ये एक, एक तरीके की बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है ये नाउ द पॉइंट इज दिस द पॉइंट इज दिस वी हैव सीन इन मल्टीपल अर्बन सेंटर्स इलीगल कॉलोनीज दे मे कम अप because we have no control over the migration that is taking place from rural india to urban india this sort of uncontrolled migration is going on right now okay so as this uncontrolled migration is going on it will have a big toll on the urban infrastructure and sometimes the government authorities they have to carry out you can say demolition activity you have to remove those illegal colonies from the government land or other land area sometimes those colonies may come up in a at a dangerous place okay there again it's a problematic thing there again it's a problematic thing so all these things are to be looked into and here the supreme court is saying that we cannot impose a ban on demolition because there are some legitimate reasons because of which the government may have to carry out demolition activity that's the point which is made here okay and the supreme court is quite valid in that supreme court is quite valid in that this is the point here okay to ye cheez thodi dhyan rakhni hai hame now now there are other things that you have to understand here see why this problem is appearing so one thing is that we need to control we need to manage somehow rural to urban migration till the time these this particular thing is not stopped or you can say not controlled this problem is going to remain as it is this problem is going to remain as it is so it is important it is in our national interest that we try to somehow control it we try to manage this situation that's the point and this is really very important this is really very important okay to ye cheez aapko samajhni zaruri hai yahan pe now along with this along with this other things are also important and that important thing is that how are we going to stop people from migrating from rural to urban area we cannot ask them ki aap mat aao okay ye cheez bhi nahi kar sakte so what is the solution to that so you need to understand you have to create more opportunities okay more facilities in rural india more job opportunities should be there more facilities should be available in the rural india so that people may not feel it to be required to move from rural to urban areas that's the point okay and it is really very important that we need that we do something like that that we do something like that okay so these are the things that we have to look into supreme court has refused to say completely no to the ban okay that's the point here other important news item that is there on today's page is this india ranks 135 out of 146 in gender gap index okay so these these particular statistics these are really alarming and it is showing that we are not going in a right direction okay we are not working as per the democratic system and values because if we would have worked as per the democratic system or values we would have managed the equality equation but somehow this gender gap index the gender gap is existing because equality is somehow missing in india we know that patriarchy is there okay we know that opportunities are less for women they face safety related issue all these things are contributing towards less participation of women in the developmental activity and this is really very alarming and we need to move away from that 
you have to improve these things this is the important point here okay so here in this particular news there are some facts that are produced now the point is this the question can be asked in your gs paper 3 or say in essay paper or any paper any you can say question related to women you can directly use this fact aap ye directly use karenge is fact ko there is a decent prelims related contents content as well okay as this edit this article is also covering that what are the parameters on which on which the gender gap index is you can say released so that those parameters are also important for our for, for our exam so let's look into this now first fact is is india rank 135 among total 146 countries in gender gap index 2022 and this has been released by world economic forum okay so you have to note it down this is a prelims related information that world economic forum they do release this particular document now other point is this india is a worst performer in terms of health and survival okay and india's ranking is 146 it means that maternal mortality is not looked after in india still we are losing women in maternal mortality cases or other cases as well then it is say that like it will take now 132 years to reach gender parity if you want to reduce this gap okay it is going to take 132 years now it's a quite a big you can say number and a long journey to cover means things are not going to be easy for us early results are not possible this point has been covered here okay so that's the important point that's the important point now along with this along with this there are some statistics which are important now india ranks poorly among its neighbors so bangladesh is ahead of us nepal is ahead of us sri lanka which is under crisis right now still they are ahead of us maldives bhutan okay only countries like performing worse than india are iran pakistan afghanistan this is how things are so whenever we talk about gender gap index there are some parameters indices that it will look into and you should be noting it down for your prelims perspective okay that on what basis this gender gap index is released so here these particular things are there so economic participation is there economic participation and opportunity educational attainment health and survival political and power empowerment okay so these particular you can say factors are there and on these particular parameters the scores are scaled from 0 to 100 ye rating milti hai 0 to 100 ki okay so on that basis we come out with a final you can say ranking that is your gender gap index to ye sari cheeze yaad rakhni hai hame so we'll move to the next part now aage chalte hain dekhte hain so here we have this editorial that we will be covering here this editorial was on sri lanka so i am not going to see this editorial from the prism of sri lanka only i will look into this from the prism of democracy see you need to understand one thing whenever there is a problem in democracy democracy has its internal strength that internal strength is this it will give its own solution so we have to be really thankful that we have democracy in sri lanka because it will come out with its own solution you have to just wait and watch democracy democracy will throw its a new leadership democracy can throw a new government this is how the strength lies people they are competent enough to decide what is good for them that's the major point here okay they have the experience of deciding it multiple times so if there is a crisis like situation you will find that early solutions will be there immediate solutions will be there okay jaldi se jaldi aapko solution bhi mil jayenge so this is how this is how it has its own strength now here they are talking about that okay at present people are on the street chika ji samajh mein aa raha hai log naraz hain and all those things are going on okay and what could be the solution that we will have the solution that they are talking about is this that 
you will find you will get a solution very soon you will get a solution very soon and new leadership will come because people they don't trust the old leadership okay old leadership ko bhi wo trust nahi kar rahe hain and the new leadership will come and things will be fine this is how this is how it is about okay so here it is talking about that okay democratic freedom it is important and definitely with that freedom the solutions wide will be there very soon massive public demand is there that new constitution might be devised because what rajapaksha did he made the office of president very strong so this was some sort of a presidential system that was working in sri lanka and things were highly centralized things were highly centralized and this is how it was a problem this is how it was a problem when you have a centralized system there are chances that problems might occur in at that time jab centralized system hota hai to problem hone ke chance hote hain and this is what sri lanka is paying the price for so there are democratic demands that at present right now you will you should have a set of you can say system which is multi ethnic multi generational and all the sections of the society sri lankan society they should have its reflection in the new type of government that should be formed this is what they are emphasizing upon okay so basically at present it is appearing that the new system that will be there in sri lanka will be more democratic will be more democratic because solution to the problems of democracy lies in more democracy solution to the problems that are there in a democracy lies in more democracy agar problems hai to usko aur democratize karo ye tarika hota hai okay ye tarika hota hai so this is the point this is the point you have to understand this is the point you have to understand now now it is saying that rajapaksha family has gone now okay new leadership will be there and new leadership will be you can say replacing the political elites of sri lanka so it is not just the one person who will be gone you will get a new set of leaders in sri lanka that's the point here okay youth might also come to the forefront this is how the new system is going to be this is how the new system is going to be okay so that was the point here so now we'll move to the next editorial so next editorial is talking about improving india south korea bilateral partnership okay so uh, this editorial is saying that like at present there are some developments taking place in south korea okay those developments are like that the south korean president he wants south korea to play some decisive role in international politics okay so in global politics he wants south korea to emerge as a major player right now we have seen till this time south korea has remained a passive player either it was dependent on japan or it was dependent on united states okay so wo itna kuch khas nahi karte the aur like right now the thing is that they want to play an active you can say role in the global politics definitely if they want to play that role they will be looking for like minded countries and india is one such like minded country which can you can say work with south korea so this is how our equation with south korea is going to be okay so hamara kuch ek relations is tarike se yahan pe rehne wala hai so this is the point here and this is what they are discussing in this editorial so potential is definitely there okay so one thing is for sure whenever we talk about you can say countries like south korea and all the major potential you will get it in the trade trade plus geopolitics okay so their indian interests will definitely be aligning with them both interest of both the countries they will be aligning they also don't want assertive china we also don't want assertive china this is how things are so they are saying that at present indo pacific the turbulence is reaching all time high there are lot of things that are taking place okay so china is emerging as a major you can say challenge not only for india but for all the world 
Now, somehow it has been observed that international rule-based order has been challenged. So China has refused to follow the system that is there internationally, the rules that have been framed, and they say that we don't acknowledge these things. So options available to the governments in foreign economic and security policy areas are under serious stress right now. During the past five years, India, South Korea, they have experienced considerable divergence okay, on their national objectives. At present, things have changed. At present, things have changed. Okay. There was a time when South Korea was not interested in joining any groupings like Quad, but India joined it. This is how we used to think. But things have changed now. Now South Korea wants to play an active role. They want to become a, you can say, global player right now. They want to fight for freedom, peace, prosperity. And in this way, both countries can explore their relation in multi-dimensional areas not only just about trade or geopolitics in all different areas we can have good equation with south koreans that's the important point here okay so ye cheez dhyan rakhni hai so here here like in past few years india and south korea they have faced serious blockades to their economic ties okay the point is this south koreans they complain about the indian system this is that they don't know how to operate the system is very complex so definitely we can work upon ease of doing business okay so that global players they can freely invest in your country this is what we have to do and we might be working on that as well and both countries they are exploring comprehensive economic partnership agreement but things are moving at a slower pace okay bahut hi slow cheeze chal rahi hain we need to we need to expedite that we need to f fasten the whole process now next is the china still now if you look into the south korean trade economic relations that they have with china it is way more than india it is way more than india that's the reality so in this way they are somehow more dependent on china in the same way, we are also doing trade with China. Today itself, there was a news that, okay, all our trade, it has further reached the all-time high. So, this is our trade. We are also doing trade with China. South Koreans are also carrying out their trade with China. Okay. This is how things are. So, in this way, both the countries, by strengthening their trade, bilateral trade, they can facilitate supply chain, global supply chain, and South Korea, it already had this target of investing $50 billion by 2030. So at present, the pace at which things are taking place is really, you can say, slow. And it appears to be impossible. So either you have to, you can say, increase the pace. Ya to pace aapko badana padega. So that, that's the thing we have to do here. Okay. Wo cheez karni padegi. That may not be easy. So emerging strategic element is creating a new convergence of capability and closer synergy in new areas of economic cooperation such as public health, green growth, digital connectivity, trade, etc. So these are the areas where we can cooperate with South Koreans. Okay. Uh, already the discussions are on to conclude the comprehensive, you can say, economic agreement. So we should expedite that process. We both can work upon, you can say, sharing the defense technology, okay, cyber security. This is the other area where we can cooperate with each other. And we should do that. So if you look into the Indo-Pacific outlook, now they are participating in the maritime security activities. Okay. Uh, in future, Quad may be expanded. So we are always talking about Quad Plus. So if the Quad is expanded, Definitely, South Korea is one country which can join the Quad. Okay, so this is how things are. This is how things are. Now, those things are existing. So, other thing is that, like time has come for India-South Korea, their bilateral relations should be scaled up. So cyber capacity, we can work in that area. Cyber security, we can work in that area. South Korea is really good with technology. Okay, they have state-of-the-art technology and which can be useful for India. 
सो वो हमारे लिए काफ़ी यूजफुल हो सकता है साउथ कोरिया दे हैव द स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट टेक्नोलॉजी ओके सो वी कैन लर्न अ लॉट वी कैन लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम दैम एंड वी शुड वी शुड नॉट हैजिटेट टू यूटिलाइज दैट दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर ओके दैट्स द पॉइंट हेयर नाउ साउथ कोरिया वॉज फोर्स टू साइन थ्री नोज एग्रीमेंट विद चाइना दोज थ्री नोज आर लाइक दिस नो एडिशनल टर्मिनल हाई एल्टीट्यूड एरिया डिफेंस डेप्लॉयमेंट नो पार्टिसिपेशन इन यूएस मिजाइल डिफेंस नेटवर्क नो एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ट्राइलेटरल मिलिट्री अलायंस विद यूएस एंड जापान सो इफ दे आर साइनिंग दिस एग्रीमेंट विद चाइना सो दिस मीन्स दैट साउथ कोरिया मे बी लुकिंग फॉर एन ऑल्टरनेटिव ओके सो एज पर दिस एग्रीमेंट साउथ कोरिया कैन नॉट एंगेज विद यूएस एंड जापान इट मीन्स दैट द वैलिड चॉइस विल बी इंडिया सो दिस इज हाउ दे माइट बी वर्किंग अपॉन स्ट्रेंथनिंग देयर रिलेशन विद इंडिया ये चीज आज के डेट में हो सकती है ठीक है ना सो एज आई हैव रिटर्न देयर थर्ड सो टर्मिनल हाई एल्टीट्यूड एरिया डिफेंस ओके दिस इज योर प्रिलिम्स टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन क्वेश्चन वट वॉज दिस थर्ड अबाउट जस्ट अटेम्प्ट इट just share your answer in the chat box okay most of you students must be knowing it because this is repeated again and again multiple times you will come across this particular question okay kafi logo ko already aata hoga so you have heard of s400 anti missile system now s400 anti missile system we got it from united we got it from russia okay we got it from russia terminal high altitude area defense it is an american anti missile system okay c is the right answer it is the american anti missile system now what happened when north korea so you must be knowing it north korea was carrying out missile test okay kim jong un he was carrying out missile test and when he was carrying out missile test at that time us brought third in the region okay so they this this particular you can say arrangement was made to for the protection of japan and south korea this is how things were facilitated at that time okay so it is important that we should know about these things now we'll move to the next part next another important editorial okay so this is what we have already covered so we have this editorial president is not mere rubber stamp okay so this is important editorial from the point of view of your quality and governance that is your gs2 plus your public administration as well okay so pabad paper 2 you can say that the question can be asked so we have to prepare it we have to prepare it now the point is this this debate is not new okay since your you can say constituent assembly was formatted this was debated multiple times and we have to look into the history as well so your first prime minister okay was jln jawarlal nehru theek hai he was your first prime minister your first president was dr rajendra prasad what happened both had really good personalities both were participant in india's freedom struggle okay both were freedom fighters and both had good personalities and when you have strong personalities sitting at a particular you can say position there are chances that clashes may occur not clashes per se differences may come up and this is what used to happen this is what used to happen so rajendra prasad and jawar lal nehru they had they had differences they had differences over multiple issues their personalities were quite strong agar nehru ji strong the to rajendra prasad ji bhi bahut strong the so this is how things were at that time now constituent assembly it debated okay it debated that what should be the way out before the you can say formation of your constitution the fundamental question was whether 
can we have a directly elected president or should we go ahead with the indirect arrangement this question was raised multiple times okay so here this editorial is talking about the same thing hello rithik so let's look into this editorial now whenever we are talking about president in 2018 there were two questions and one of the question was related to the election of president itself okay so just attempt this question just attempt this question so this is this is based on the method on which we carry out the voting system in president presidential election now it is saying that the value of vote of each mla varies from state to state this is the first statement second statement says that the value of vote of mp of lok sabha is more than the vote of mp of rajya sabha so here you should know things with clarity that first statement is right and second statement is wrong because value of mp of rajya sabha and lok sabha it is same the value of vote is same so this is what we should know and in this way the answer will be a okay so we should know these things we should know these particular things here now there is another question there was another question on the president same year itself so if president of india exercises his power as provided under article 356 of the constitution in respect of particular state then what does that mean so if the president is exercising the power okay under article 356 then what will be the you can say consequence this is what was asked by upsc okay so it was a different type of question but important one so here the answer is b that's the answer now let's look into this editorial this editorial is saying that president in india is not mere a rubber stamp there are some very you can say fruitful and useful activity or you can say actions or responsibilities fulfilled by our president he is very important and in some areas quite powerful as well so those particular things are to be explored here okay so it is saying that it is possible for a president to intervene on the behalf of citizenry against any tyranny of executive and we have seen it multiple times whenever your legislature it, it has tried to do something which is not in right with the constitutional spirit the president has asked the legislature to have a relook it has happened multiple times it has happened multiple times president ne bahut baar bola hai theek hai na so here we are going to elect new president and the oath taking will be on 25th of july okay so why why whole political parties they are putting so much emphasis on this presidential election why they are calculating lot of things so the point is this president he do command some authority उनके पास कोई अथॉरिटी है ओके सो पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज दे कैन नॉट टेक रिस्क दैट्स व्हाई इट इज यू कैन से एक्सपेक्टेड दैट दे वांट देयर मेन टू बी देयर मतलब सरकार उसी को बिठाना चाहती है जो गवर्नमेंट की सुने बिकॉज प्रेसिडेंट के पास वाकई कुछ पावर्स होती हैं सो हेयर दो थिंग्स आर नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू लाइक प्रेजिडेंट वन थिंग इज फॉर श्योर दैट ही शुड हैव अ हायर स्टेचर because the moral standing of president that's there in this country it makes him a very important functionary he is the first citizen of the country this is the importance that he commands so earlier also in constituent assembly there was a debate whether india should have a directly elected president or not so definitely we opted for the indirect election because if the president would have been directly elected then the clashes between prime minister and president would have been more pm or president ke beech mein ladai ho jati because both would have been elected president would have said that i am also elected why should i listen to you prime minister would have said that okay government have 
means people have chosen me i am the representative so this is how the clashes would have been really very strong that's the point here okay but professor kt shah he says that if we opt for indirect elected indirectly elected president then he will be just a gramophone of prime minister means he will be rubber stamp whatever the prime minister will say he will blindly follow that he will not use his mind this is what professor kt shah wrote asked dr b r ambedkar he also stated the same thing he is saying that he said that president is merely a nominal head even he says that that president has no discretion he says that president has no powers of administration at all the point is this with that arrangement how can you expect president to function agar yahi halat hai to fir president kya waqi rubber stamp hai that's the question so president of india is not just a figure head in india you have to understand this thing he has the responsibility to make sure that officers which are subordinate under him the government machinery that is working in his name that should work as per the constitution this is the responsibility that he has he has the responsibility to uphold your constitution that's the most important responsibility okay so it means that president exercises these power only on the aid and advice of council of minister yes this provision is there we cannot undermine the elected government as well usko bhi undermine nahi kar sakte okay there are few things that you have to understand that president in a country like india it plays important role because the president is a guardian the president is a guardian guardian of interests of the citizen of this country he has the responsibility to protect the interests of the citizen of this country by successfully implementing the constitutional scheme that's the point here so at present if you talk about the electoral college of presidential election it includes members of both the houses of parliament and the elected members of state and the union territory okay nominated members they don't take part in the election it's only about the elected members okay elected members hi aate hain yahan pe along with that members of legislative council because in some states we have a legislative councils those members they don't take part in it that's the point here okay so this is how things are calculated now when it comes to vote of an mla okay so vote of an mla is calculated by dividing the total population of the state by the total strength of the assembly and then the quotient is divided by 1000 now this is how the question was that whether the value of vote of each mla is varies from state or state because size of the population is different okay size of the legislature is different this is how because of that the value of vote will also be different that's the point here theek hai ji ye point ho gaya yahan pe okay now indian president is not and cannot be rubber stamp he may not exercise his authority directly but can disagree with the decision of the government okay and this gives him a power he may have disagreement with the government he may ask the government to reconsider a bill the reconsideration power is there he can send a particular proposal without back to the government without any change this is how things are this is how things are and he may not be personally responsible for the decision which are taken by the government okay but still he has the power to send back the recommendations this is how in this way the president is important and constitution of india wants president to be vigilant and responsive and gives freedom to him or her to take broader view of the things this is how things are we know that legislature is there elected politically elected leaders are there for them election may be most important thing unke liye election hi important hoga 
but at that time president he can use his wisdom to guide the legislature in the right direction that's the point here we know that legislature they are opportunist okay they are opportunist but but president can use his mind and wisdom and we have multiple examples where the suggestions made by the legislature were sent back by the president that's the point so you had such example dr kalam he was that personality and when you talk look into the oath that president takes the president shall preserve protect and defend the constitution and second is this practice president shall devote himself or herself to the service and well being of the people of india but the point is this this oath president is taking how how president can you can say live up to this oath without power if president is not having power how will the president live up to this particular oath it will not be possible that's the point that's the point that's the tricky area okay so these are the things which you have to understand here and things are clear president though is a nominal head but it is not a rubber stamp okay we need to have this clarity so we'll move to the next you can say part of the newspaper now in high hours unfolding mysteries of the nighty sky okay so you can uh, read it on your own it's a self read thing you can read the findings of james webb telescope what exactly it has found some of the names of uh, you can say galaxies might be there you will be noting it down okay you will be noting it down for your prelims perspective so we'll move to the next again on trivendram and now like it's not important okay so before that vicky gautam yadav is asking this doubt sir we have already example like kalam rajendra prasad and so many whom who perform duty to independently just for supremacy for constitution welfare of the people yes you have this these examples so india china talks to be held on 17th of july okay already we are exploring how to carry out disengagement now disengagement sometimes it is not possible okay we have the experience in 1980s where disengagement took 3 uh, to 4 years okay so this is how things can be and the troops are already deployed so 50000 troops they are being deployed in the forward post and definitely it is difficult to maintain people there because weather is your biggest enemy okay those are really uh, risky terrains and quite you can say higher altitudes so these are the problems that we face here now transgender trainee pilot told to reapply for medical test okay so yesterday like see you need to understand after the nalsa judgment uh, supreme court of india they recognize that discrimination against the transgender should be say penalized or should be reduced okay accordingly the government did came out with a law as well government ne kanun bhi banaya but here we are finding that because of some reasons uh the the bureaucracy they have stopped or they are not giving the license to that individual what does this show this shows that in your you can say bureaucracy sensitivity is missing kahi na kahi hum in cheezon ko leke sensitive nahi hain that's why the discrimination is still going on right at the level of your bureaucracy so this is a problem this is a problem and right now government had have intervened and they will they are working on it and they might come out with the solution okay this is the point that is there so quarter 1 new investment project fall 20.5% okay so investment is not picking up so we have to do something investment is not picking up okay so kuch karna padega further ease of doing business karna padega okay that's the point other than that on this page there is nothing much now assessing juvenility is a delicate act we know that supreme court is also recognizing it okay so right now as per the provision of juvenile justice protection act you have this provision that one preliminary assessment should be carried out to understand whether a particular juvenile uh, what was his mental state whether he was thinking like a adult 
so if he had that mental ability to think like an adult definitely definitely he should be treated as an adult okay for a particular crime that he has committed and we have seen it multiple times that the indulgence of juvenile in the you can say serious crimes it is increasing so ye cheez ho rahi hai yahan pe okay india has achieved clean energy target 9 years before the deadline so here we have this we have installed 162 gigawatt of renewable energy and uh, it's a really good thing it's a really good thing okay so these are some factual things so which you are going to use these facts in your gs paper 3 theek hai na gs paper 3 you have to use these particular facts okay now the point is the point is this so india installed 162 of renewable energy okay uh, which is 41% of the 402 gigawatt of electricity installed and we already have this target we already have this target okay and we are in right direction okay we reached this target on november 2021 it shows the, the commitment of indian government it shows the commitment of indian government okay so whatever we committed we are on that direction itself so prime minister also committed of installing 500 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2030 and uh, definitely it will let like, renewable will be the 50% installed capacity okay so whatever capacity india is going to have renewable jo hai wo uski 50% hone wali hai theek hai na so ye ek important cheez hai okay ye ek important cheez hai yahan pe so that's the important point and we need to understand this thing that we are on a right path other than that india also committed to ensure 40% of its energy would from renewable sources by 2030 and we are in that direction as well this is what we promised as our nationally determined contribution okay that's the point so along with this again i am telling you at 2 pm today okay so you can connect with us and i will be taking up public administration optional so those who are interested they can connect with us at 2 pm so you can connect with our office they will tell you they will give you the link link will be provided and there you can join that class so along with this there are other news items that are there okay and we will be covering that so baki cheeze hum cover karte hain iske andar dekhenge bhi so there is nothing much in the international page today okay kuch khas zyada aaya nahi hai but still we will be looking into that uh, rise and fall of gotab air rajapaksha it is going on okay so note that important and uh, uh, joe biden kicks off the west asia tour now there is another important you can say group that has emerged one is itu2 itu2 is israel india us and uae okay israel india us and U- uae so it is said that this is this will work as a west asian quad this will work as a west asian quad okay the point is this it has solved lot of problems for india so with this development it is showing that israel is reducing its differences with arab world with arab countries israel is reducing their differences and they are moving in a more positive you can say direction and if india is a you can say party to the group like that it means that it mean that in future we will be playing important role okay we will be playing important role that's the point and and along with that and along with that it will resolve our dilemma earlier we have to balance our relations with arab and israel separately pehle aapko uae ko alag se khush karna padta tha israel ko alag se khush karna padta tha now that problem has been somehow resolved and from that perspective from that perspective it's a good thing from that perspective it's a good thing okay so we need to understand these developments 
so india's import from china rose to a record in the first half of 2022 okay so we are still increasing our imports that's the point here so we cannot easily do away with our dependence on china okay the bilateral trade uh, you can say had crossed 100 billion for the first time reaching up to 125 billion in 2021 so it's a quite bigger number okay that's the point now us june consumer inflation quickens to 41 year high so again the inflation is very high in us it means that the us federal bank will further increase the interest rate okay so to curb the inflation the us federal bank will further increase the interest rate as us federal bank will increase the interest rate it means that investment from india okay it will further go back to united states it is quite possible so there are financial you can say fii's uh, foreign investor investment institutions so they may take out their money from the indian economy and start investing in us economy this is how things are going to be okay this is how things are going to be so this is what we should know rupee slips a new low it may touch 80 rupees okay so this is what is going to be that's the point here other than that there is nothing much so that's it for the day then thank you very much and again i am telling you today we are connecting at 2 pm so you can be part of that class okay so the fees for the structure is 30000 for the online for the offline it is 40000 it includes the test series as well so that's it for the day thank you very much